The tragic accidental death of Mike Tyson's four-year-old daughter Exodus adds an awful chapter to the boxer's troubled life. Tyson's daughter died at a hospital Tuesday, a day after her neck apparently got caught in a cord dangling from a treadmill at her Arizona home. The modest home where his daughter was injured contrasts starkly with the lavish lifestyle Tyson lived during his boxing days. During just two years at the height of his career, he earned $140 million, but had to file for Chapter 11 protection in U.S. Bankruptcy Court in 2003. Iron Mike's boxing career began in a facility for juvenile delinquents in upstate New York at the age of 12. As a 20-year-old, Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion ever when he knocked out Trevor Burbick in 1986. In February of 1990, in one of the biggest upsets in sports history, Tyson lost his championship belt to James Buster Douglas. Not long after, he would lose his freedom after being convicted of raping Desiree Washington, a beauty pageant contestant in Indianapolis. He served three years in jail. After his release from prison, Tyson made it back into the ring in 1995. His in-ring behavior turned bizarre during a 1997 title fight with Evander Holyfield. Tyson was disqualified for biting both of Holyfield's ears. In 1999, Tyson was headed back to jail for three months, this time for assaulting two motorists in suburban Washington, D.C. Tyson got one more title chance at 2002 bout with Lennox Lewis. In a post-fight press conference two years earlier, Tyson had threatened to eat Lewis's children. He was knocked out by Lewis and never fought for a title again. Tyson was last in the ring in 2005, losing to Ireland's Kevin McBride after refusing to come out after the sixth round. Not long afterward, he officially retired from boxing. In November of 2007, Tyson spent 24 hours in an Arizona jail after pleading guilty to one count of cocaine possession and one misdemeanor count of driving under the influence. Drugs have long been a problem for Tyson. He told the New York Times recently that he had been sober for 15 months after years of drug and alcohol abuse. In a life filled with triumphs and tragedies, Mike Tyson now faces his most personal fight, mourning the tragic death of his daughter Exodus. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.